Muscle Monster. We are inside the Orleans Hotel and Casino as the 148 plus competitors on the left side begin their prelims. Jessica King, daughter of the legend Joyce King, waiting for her turn to compete. Who should we watch for here, Neil? I really like Felicia Ryston. She brings a different level of speed into a class which is normally dominated by power. And you can see how devastating that is. Huge win, took a lot of power. We're in the 148 plus left hand prelims. Blackman and Chatfield go next. Two ladies who know each other very well. Securing the victory. We continue on in the prelims. Heidi Cordner on the left, Jessica King on the right. Jessica King now with a huge opportunity. Oh, not looked like the win. Yes, that is the win for Jessica King. The dead wrist twice at press was so effective for her mom back in her heyday, and Jessica using it to devastating effect there to knock out Heidi Cordner. It's intense competition, whatever it takes, and King gets the job done. There's her mom, Joyce, a hug for her afterwards, and we continue on. 148-plus left prelims, Josie Morneau and Mary McConaughey. Both these ladies massively experienced in the sport, and Josie Morneau with a drive and a drive to the side there. She's got real pedigree in strength sport. She used to compete in strong woman events, and that was a dramatic win for a very dangerous competitor. Blackman and Rystead, we've seen both of these competitors. Here they go in a big pull. And Felicia Rystead with that speed. We may get further evidence of its effectiveness here. And once again, Felicia Rystead utilizing that back pressure and explosivity to drive through a more powerful opponent. Really looking good here, then. Indeed. Jessica King and Felicia Rystead work their way through the prelims now they square off in the final another hammer up for grabs and the best two on a free deal who do you like here i like felicia reister she stayed clean throughout the competition and not put into any difficult matches and that speed is a weapon Ooh, that was terrible two competitors into the pit best two out of three jessica king eight inches taller than her competitor there's her mom joyce looking on prior to the match we had a chance to catch up with jessica Back when I was 11 years old, my parents took us to a Canadian competition and they asked us if my brother and I wanted to pull. And we were like, you know, let's do what mom does. Like, heck yes. So uh, we pulled in that tournament. Both of us placed first in the juniors and been hooked ever since. Knowing that my mom's going to be right there watching me um, helps immensely. Her voice is the one voice that I hear when I'm getting ready to get up to the table and pull. Great to see it all in the family, the King family crowd in the WAL now. Get that rest out, Jessica. Interestingly, Jessie has adopted the same approach to the sport that her mum had, and that means she sacrifices her wrist and hand in order to gain position on the arm. As we move into the straps, the issue that Jessie faces is that the speed of the Swede could mean that it's very, very difficult to recover the position. We're about to find out. Two out of three here, 148 plus left hand final. Wow! Look at that from Felicia Einstein! Explodes out of the blocks! Enormous drive backwards, and she literally rotated Jessica's arm and smashed it into the path. Believe it, Jessica, believe it. Make sure your side of the table. Get her over there and work from there. Very uncomfortable on the grip there, you can see Jessica tries to readjust and bust the match, but you can see she's looking for advice. I can't get in on the pad. Felicia looking to put nothing in before they go and then accelerate like a dragster out of the box. Massive drive again, look at that from Felicia Reisted. Does size matter? Not tonight. 
We see on Tracker Labs data some heart rates that indicate serious intensity. Holy crap! 166 for Felicia, nearly 200 for Jessica. Once again, combined G-force theory, two Gs, which is incredibly high now. Felicia speeds I two amps out. There. She was a nervous individual coming into this tournament. She actually got to teammates, even though the heavyweights was the easier class. I think that's paid dividends. A lot of blood, sweat, and tears go into winning that WAL hammer. Congrats to Rystead, the victor here. It was absolutely amazing. Dream come true. So I'm happy with the outcome, even though I got second. And back down to the pit, Abby with Felicia. Obviously much smaller and lighter in this weight class. What was your mindset going into this? Um, I chose to go to heavyweight because I didn't... I think it was easier than facing Fia from Sweden in the middleweight. Yeah. So many dominant women in Sweden. What is it like coming here and holding up this hammer for Sweden? Um, it's amazing. I have not pulled against the girls here before, so that makes me very nervous. And of course, there was big, big arms, big wrists. So it's uh, this was great. Well, hold up the hammer one more time. Congratulations! Felicia steps up a weight class and steps up in that weight class. Another WAL hammer going home to Sweden.